Well, I guess we'll do an update video on what I've been doing the last few days here around here. We did go trash picking the other day and we found this cool cart. It's a fold up, fold up wagon. So we went to the flea market this morning, pulled it all around. Worked great. So we're probably gonna end up keeping that, keeping that bad boy. We went and got some, found some moldy Ryobis out there in the wild and some batteries and some sawzall blades. We'll go put in a hoard. You always need sawzall blades, that's for sure. Always go for the long ones. I do anyway. I did actually get this thing pulled in here, cleaned up, cleaned up the garage and made enough room to get this in here. We're gonna start on the uh doing the lower intake gasket on this on this vortex. I don't know what day I'll get around to doing that, but we got the hood off, we got the coolant system drained. So that'll be in a later video. The good thing about this truck is it does have all the factory sheet metal still on it the rad support looks original so at least this thing's never really been in any kind of major front end accident a little dinker on somebody's hitch but it's actually not that bad body wise on the front end you know the green one i got is just mangled <laughs> and if you've seen the short we drug the 85 out of the woods it's resting place anyway stole the wheels off of it <laughs> put them on the frontier yeah they're a little big i like the poke though they got good poke it's pretty sweet they got hella tread right so we we'll get some wheel cleaner and clean these wheels up i do want to switch this bed out too i've been kind of working on that a little bit here and there i mean look how bad this thing is it's crazy this wheel's sticking out of the wheel well and the other one's under it because the bed's pushed over. But Paul's also been out here doing some pruning. Been trying to do like two rows a day. Just got into this field yesterday. I did these two rows. So maybe we'll get to that this afternoon. It's supposed to be really, really nice out here, like 60 degrees. So might try to get this bed swapped out. I can find some hands work on getting this thing unbolted I just got this toolbox off of here full of brand new parts we got a whole set of KYB shocks probably gonna ooh that thing's brittle huh that grill shot we got a brand new uh, I believe this is like 86 to 86 to 91 or 88 to 91 grill power power steering hoses there's all kinds of stuff in here that came with this truck toolbox where the lid don't stay up let me get these shocks out of here i'm probably gonna end up putting them on the uh the manual nissan they're for a four-wheel drive but pretty sure they'll fit Got a whole new set of shocks to put on there. I think this is a power steering pump here. Brand new one. <laughs> Just random stuff in there. I think I'm gonna use that toolbox to store some parts in. Some newer stuff I got. Rotors and stuff. Brand new wire set, timing belt. Are these old ones? Oh yeah. What about this one. That one's brand new. That can go on the other truck. Is this a power steering pump? You gotta kind of remember what's in here. Yep. Brand new power steering pump. That's cool. whole pack of iridiums brand new brand new there we go cool 
I wonder I wonder if these will work in a they should work in a VG33. Only got five of them. There's no, oh, there's some mud flaps in here I didn't know about. Check that out. Check this thing out. Didn't even know about this being in there. This distributor cap cover. I think. I think it is. Hitachi, yeah. That's probably a rare part right there, truthfully. <laughs> that always gets thrown away. What is this? Distributor cap? There's a cap, wires in here. Is this a flare gun? No flares. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. I guess some of these are worth saving. Turn signals. Oh, here's another iridium. Clamps! Expect them, right? <laughs> you can label them. Driver, passenger, wiper blade, arms. Oh, that's a quality set of jumper cables right there, right? <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Sucks I'm going to be putting a cap on this thing. It does have these these uh, optioned, factory option tie-downs in the bed rail are pretty cool. Stock option. They had to hack out the bed liner to get them, get them to pop up. <laughs> Actually, it's a factory Nissan Dora liner too so it was probably cut out for them looks like it was cut from the factory that way this bed is still a little bit a little bit punky in the front but back here it's super solid I mean it's not even a little bit it's starting to get a little surface on it but it's got plenty of life in it especially once the caps clamped on there Two of these things cammed out. Still one stuck in there. I picked up this kit, Craftsman. It's like an easy out kit. Goes in the in the driver. Got the other one out. Well, got that one too. <laughs> Sweet. I did pick this guy up last week at the market, Bear Tool P262. This is the uh, the 600 foot pound gun. I got it for 60 bucks, Bear Tool. So that's a good deal. Let's see if it can bust this 14 millimeter off of this guy. Uh, we gotta get under this crusty guy. I already disconnected the tail lights. These far back bed bolts up here, we're probably going to have to get with a ratchet, but we should be able to get on this one, see if it busts it loose or breaks it. Woo, don't get rust in your eye. Just spinning it. Probably. Yep. Just spinning it. That's what I thought. I'm gonna have to cut all these bolts off. Fun. Well, broke one front one off so far. <laughs> one came out. It's shot though. Look how rusty it is. It was luck that that came out of there. This thing goes up in the. There's like a square box zooming frame. On, attached to the bottom of the bed and then this this index is in there and holds it in place it's like spongebob over here <laughs> two hours later <laughs> well, we got the bed loose had to cut all these back ones off so <clears throat> 
my plan is to some of the bed mounts for this bed have actually rotted off also there's not much in here it is kind of crunchy but at both back corners have these really nice tabs on them still at the bottom of the that are super they're really good they're not rusty at all so i'm sure i can come up with some bedside mounts to fix that even though the ones are missing but i'm thinking i'm gonna go take these the flares off the other truck i'll show you in a minute see really what i want to do is take these flares off of here before i even go to try to take this bed off because i don't want to damage them the mud flaps are still really good on both sides this side's pretty much just held on with a zip tie though but i would like to get these flares off without breaking them so i guess i'm going to work on that get them off of there for now and uh i'm not sure how this yeah this caps just clamped through these factory holes here so that should be easy enough to get off of there besides picking it up and unloading all the stuff out of it but as you can see even this bed even back here on this back wall it's starting to go out it's not that bad back here but wait till we get this bed off and it just falls apart i think if we take the cap off it's just gonna fall apart <laughs> truthfully but we got zip ties in there holding it together for now Oh, this one was actually held on there pretty good. It wasn't completely rotted. <laughs> this side pretty much just fell off. Uh, ain't even the bottom. Even the bottom's holding it. Jeez. Basically, my plan is to take that off and put this one on there. I can show you here, it's the same bed. Like, basically, I'll probably just line it up with the front there as best we can, like that. Build some mounts for it, and then I don't know what I'm going to do with the back. Might actually end up having to trim this up here to get it to fit the contour of the bed a little bit better. But we'll see what happens. It's a project for another day. lights are in really good shape though come on I guess that top one's still in there a little bit couple pins there
could have left them with the bed, but I'm afraid the bed's gonna end up getting scrapped by the time this is by the time it ends up off of here. So I should think we got some weather coming in. I don't know if I'll actually even get this done today. My plan is I'm gonna I left one clamp on this lid. This topper here. I don't know if that's gonna I probably should shut that. I'm gonna get in there and pick it up and try to put it on this bed temporarily. See if I can climb back out of it. <laughs> See if I can get out of the jungle. step. Be a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know, we might have to leave her capless for a little while. <laughs> now I gotta work on getting the back bolts out back here underneath. Hopefully I don't have to cut these ones. This truck's a lot newer. Look how bad this bed is. Entire front cross member is not even attached. If I, if I keep jerking, it's probably going to come right off. <laughs> it's crazy. All 
I ain't checked the weather yet, but it don't look too good coming in. I got one bolt off on the back over there, and I'm just over laying under there and having the rust just rain in my eyeballs along with trying to use a grinder. That's That stuff's horrible. So I'm just going to go to the shop and get my plasma cutter and uh, plasma cut these last three bolts off and rip this bed off of here. But I don't think I'm going to get it done today anyway because once I get the bed off, I probably should go to the car wash and hose the frame down real good and, you know, crunch off anything that's going to crunch off here. Old bump stop mount. Ow, it got me. And this, uh, this bumper here. <laughs> I got a Toyota one over here. I'm probably going to try to put that on there too. And, uh, yeah, this one, it's actually in really good shape. It's got a little, a little dent in it, but it's not, it's not too bad. It should go right on there. I might have to modify some brackets or something, but we'll figure it out. So I guess that's it for today. Jiggle, jiggle, drive time, right? <laughs> I guess that's it for today. We'll see, uh, see what happens. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe. We'll get this bed ripped off there tomorrow and get the frame pressure washed, let it dry off. Might as well go get something to coat it with since we got the bed off of it. Then we'll uh, put a put a hard body bed on it, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I might run it without a cap for a while. I kind of like it. It looks good without a cap. Maybe we'll put the cap on the S10 and use that thing for the flea market. <laughs>